we have 479 minus 364. So we need to subtract 3 hundreds, 6 tens, and 4 units. If we have 4 hundreds and we subtract 3 hundreds, that leaves us with 100 because 4 minus 3 is 1, so we have 179. Now we need to subtract 6 tens, so if we have 7 tens and we subtract 6 tens, that leaves us with 1 ten, so we have 119. Now we can subtract 4 units, and if we subtract 4 units from 9 units, that leaves us with 5 units, so our answer is 115. Now we have 484 minus 256. If we subtract 2 hundreds, we now have 284, because 4 minus 2 is 2. Now we can subtract 5 tens from our 8 tens, which leaves us with 3 tens, so we have 234. Now we need to subtract 6 units, so subtracting those 4 units takes us to our previous multiple of 10, 230. So now how many more units do we need to subtract? We can subtract two more units, so we've subtracted six units altogether, and that gives us our answer, 228. Now pause the video and see if you can answer 524 subtract 251. So if we start by taking away our two hundreds, that leaves us with 324, because 5 minus 2 is 3. Now we need to subtract 5 tens, but rather than subtracting 5 tens all in one go, we can subtract our two tens to give us 304, and then subtract three more tens so we've subtracted 5 tens altogether, and that leaves us on 274. Now we can subtract our 1 unit, and that gives us our answer, 273. Now we have 435 minus 278. So if we start with four hundreds, we can subtract two hundreds to give us two hundred and thirty-five. Now we need to subtract seven tens, but rather than subtracting seven tens all in one go, we can subtract our three tens to give us two hundred and five. And now how many more tens do we need to subtract? We need to subtract four more tens and that leaves us with 165. So we've subtracted seven tens, because we subtracted three tens, then four tens. Now we just need to take away our eight units. So if we're on 165, and we take away five, that gives us 160. Now we can take away three more units, so we've subtracted eight altogether, and now we have our answer, 157. Now pause the video and see if you can subtract 266 from 622. So we can start by subtracting our two hundreds, which gives us 422. 
Now we can subtract six tens, but rather than subtracting six tens all in one go, we can subtract our two tens to give us 402. And now we need to subtract four more tens, which leaves us with 362. So we subtracted 20, then subtracted 40. So we've subtracted 60 altogether. And now we can subtract our six units. If we take away our two units, we have 360. And then we can take away four more to give us 356. So we subtracted six altogether. So 622 minus 266 equals 356.